Outlaw's Prayer is one of Johnny Paycheck's most poignant and reflective songs. In this heartfelt narrative, Paycheck tells a story of a man who doesn't feel welcome in a church because of his rough outlaw appearance. But beneath the surface, it's really about how faith is for everyone, no matter their past or how others may judge them. It's a powerful reminder that God's grace and mercy are open to all, regardless of where we come from or what we've been through. This song challenges us to look beyond appearances and see the heart of a person. In a broader sense, the song is more of a reflection on how people, especially those who don't fit traditional molds, can feel alienated in places where they should feel more than welcome. This is my cover of Johnny Paycheck's Outlaw's Prayer. I hope that you enjoy it. You know I worked a big package show in Fort Worth Saturday night. We had all day Sunday to rest and relax before I caught another flight. So I decided to walk downtown and get myself a little fresh air. And before long I found myself in front of a big church on the corner of the square. Oh, I could hear that singing way out in the street. It sure was a beautiful sound. So I just walked up the steps and opened the door and started to go inside just to sit down. But before I could, a young man walked over to me and said, excuse me, sir, but I can't let you in with that black hat those jeans, that beard and long hair. So I just left, went back outside, sat down on the curb, that curb over there. And I just thought to myself, that's the house of the Lord. That guy's got a hell of a nerve telling me where I can't worship anywhere I please. So right there in front of that church, I just knelt down on my knees I said, Lord, Lord, I know I don't look like much, but I didn't think you'd mind. I just wanted to be with your people, Lord. It's been such a long time. A while ago, I saw a wino over there in that alley, all been over in tears. And I thought, Lord, how one stained glass window from this church could probably feed his family for years. Then there's those fine cars parked outside. Too many for me to count. Made me think how people walk for days to hear your sermon on the mount. Then there's those fine ladies in the choir, Lord, singing like they really love it. Hell, last night they were dancing on the front row of my show, drinking beer and screaming, sing, shove it. You know, even John the Baptist wouldn't be welcome in this place with his coat made of camel hair and sandals on his feet and a long beard on his face. You know, Lord, when you come back to get your children, take them beyond the clouds to live forever in heaven with you. Well, I'd sure hate to be in this crowd. Lord, I'm not perfect. Some even call me no account. But I'll tell you, I believe a man is judged by what's in his heart 
and not his bank account. So if this is what religion is, a big car, a suit, and a tie, then I might as well forget it, Lord. I can't qualify. Oh, by the way, Lord, right before they kicked me out, didn't I see a picture of you with sandals and a beard? Huh? I believe you had long hair, too. Well, this is Paycheck. Signing off. I'll be seeing you, Lord. I hope.